Here we have Messrs Roberts, Archer and Bartlett. Now, there's no obvious connection between them. They're certainly not brothers, and I don't think they were lovers. So who were they? For today's video, we're going to be delving into Croydon's theatrical history and find out about three men who ran the Theatre Royal Croydon. Nowadays in Croydon, for theatrical entertainment, we have the Fairfield Halls, but historically there have been plenty of other venues to stage shows in the arts. Now a Poundland, this was once the site of the Croydon Hippodrome, or as it was when it opened, the Theatre Royal. In August 1884, the Era magazine reported that these three chaps took over the Theatre Royal Croydon. Now there were several other theatres at Croydon at the time, but this was when it hit the big time. They opened with a performance of Gilbert and Sullivan's Ioanthe. Now this is when Gilbert and Sullivan were at the height of their creative powers. It was one of their most popular productions of that time. Productions that they themselves put on ranged from Black Eyed Susan, oh. A Kiss in the Dark, and several pantomimes. Oh, no, they didn't. Screenwriter and silent film actress Gertrude Norman even performed for them in their opening year of 1884. What I find really interesting about this is the fact that they're all buried together. They live together, they work together, and even in death they're all together as well. Now I'm not sure if that hints at some sort of queer relationship going on. This is where the archive has a massive gap. I simply don't know. Massive, massive men who contributed hugely to Croydon's theatrical scene in the late 19th century. <laughs> 